from Spidermation Studios. Today we will be showing you how to fix a little problem that you might face in Anime Studio Pro 7. Now, I will demonstrate by opening my corrupted Anime Studio file. As I open this file, you can see that the program displayed an error message, alerting, could not open file, with error details, bad header file, showing the line where there's error. We are going to need to view the file source code, so we will open a program called Notepad++. It is an alternative towards the Microsoft's Windows default Notepad. It can be found by searching for Notepad++ on Google, and downloading it from the official website. I will not be downloading it, as I already have it. If you are wondering, why not use the default notepad that came with Windows, it is because the default notepad is not as advanced, and more task efficient as the notepad++, you will see why in a moment. The default notepad still can be used, as well as any other text editing software. Let's go ahead and search for our corrupted anime studio file and open it in notepad++. This is what your anime studio files will look like, in text format. Take a look at this line of coding, it is the same phrase mentioned in the error message received in Anime Studio when opening the file. So, this line, seems to be the file's header, and for some reason, it leads to the corruption of the file. Okay, to begin fixing this, create a new document in Anime Studio, and draw anything. I will draw a simple circle for demonstration. It does not have to be much, since it will only be temporary. Now save your document. I left mine as untitled.anim, since I do not have a file name as such in that directory. Now you are probably wondering, why did she create such a useless file? Well, the reason for that file, is that so we can copy the contents of our corrupted file, into the new one we have created, using our text editor. It is basically moving what is not corrupted from the bad file, to the good file. Now in your text editor, open the new file you have created in Anime Studio, in this case, mine is called untitled.anim. Now, you should have two files opened in the text editor, which is shown as tabs. Click on the newly created tab, which in this case is my untitled.anim file. Drag and drop the tab anywhere on the white space area, and select move to other view. Now you should have two views which compares your corrupted file with the new one you created. Now this is where Notepad++ shines. If you are a programmer, or are familiar with coding, you can go up to the language menu, and you will see a variety of coding language syntaxes, such as C, C++, CSS, HTML, etc. But Anime Studio, uses the coding language of LUA, or Lua. Now, selecting Lua, the program then makes the coding easier to read. It does so, by identifying code syntaxes in the document by highlighting important code keywords in different colors, making it easier to identify, or make up keywords. This is very helpful because, when you are up to extremely long code such as this, it will become a hassle to make out where you are sometimes. Now, we have to copy all the coding in our corrupted file, to our good file. Make sure that you select and copy, all the coding below line 4. Which in this case, starts at line 6, because the 4 lines above, are causing the corruption somehow. In the good file, 
Select from line 6 as well. Simply, all we are doing is copying and pasting what is below line 4 in our corrupted file to what is below line 4 in our not corrupted one. Now, copy and paste. It takes seconds since there's a lot of text in the documents. As you can see, we have copied what was in our old corrupted file to our new good file. You may now save your new file. I left my file name as the same. Now exit the text editor. In your Anime Studio program, go ahead and open your edited file. Mine is called untitled.anim. And there you have it. Problem is solved. You can now view your file and do further editing and animation. You can also rename your file and continue using it as nothing happened to it. Easy as cake. Also, we would like to thank NG Stalagmite for showing us how to use this technique for creating this character you see here. Now, for an extra tip. We are going to show you how to change attributes in your Anim Studio file without actually using Anim Studio to do it. In our text editing software, we are going to change a layer's name by simply changing it in our text editing software to something else. Like for example, changing the layer's name logo to spider. Reopen your file in Anim Studio. And you can see that the change took place. As you can see, whatever is changed in the text version of the document also affects the document. We hope this trick helps you in any way. Thank you for viewing, and have a good one.